due to the increased interest in space over the last few decades, it became imperative for space agencies to establish permanent space stations in space to help with continued research projects and plans. This led to the creation of the International Space Station, of which can be used by all nations and governments in a joint effort to further research in all areas. Of course, attempting to understand a brave new frontier comes with a variety of strange and mysterious circumstances that researchers are still trying to better understand. The International Space Station has four high-definition cameras, and on NASA's website there's live cameras that allow you to watch what's going on above our planet. Interestingly though, during some of these people have noticed some odd things. Now it's important to note that NASA and other space agencies have said these objects aren't anything of interest, and are most likely camera anomalies. Viewers though who saw the video were left confused, as whatever appears in the footage looks to be huge. Once the video was shared online, various users couldn't explain what it was, saying that whatever it is seems to be flying in formation with several other objects. One person said the following, I saw something similar on the International Space Station app, but wasn't able to capture it. This was a while back, so I'm really glad I found this video because it backs up what I've been telling people I saw. To me this thing looks like a giant ship, and this isn't the first time that I've seen unidentified flying objects around the International Space Station. I saw another one a while back and it looked like a giant silver disc. Before I could get a photo of it though, the camera went blank. End quote. Another user said the following. This video is interesting for a number of reasons. The obvious one being that there appears to be a massive ship heading towards Earth but the other is that shortly after this the camera changes so we're no longer able to see what's going on. Seems like a bit of a coincidence, doesn't it? When something mysterious shows up on the ISS camera it just so happens to switch to another camera, stopping us from seeing more of this object. The weird thing as well is to me it doesn't move like an asteroid or a piece of space debris. It just looks strange. End quote. As mentioned, NASA continues to deny a variety of theories surrounding the idea of UFOs and other objects around the International Space Station, but some people have said it's so overwhelmingly obvious that NASA knows something is going on. The most well-known examples come straight from that of the continued live footage of the International Space Station. Recently, there's been numerous events where footage of strange objects float in the distance that's led many to believe it's extraterrestrial in origin. After such instances are spotted, the footage will later be removed or edited. The live feed will be cut or the entire instance will be completely ignored by NASA. They will often reply that the footage was edited to give the illusion of alien life. Recently, these changes have become so apparent that NASA has admitted that the majority of the live feed broadcasted as being live is actually much older than many people believe. In fact, there's been several proven instances by the BBC of the NASA live footage having been from old footage played in 2015. Not only has this helped to build up beliefs by people around the world that there seems to be direct evidence of efforts made to cover up extraterrestrial proof, 
but it also seems to be direct evidence used by certain communities to prove that something is going on. A new discovery has just been made close to Antarctica, and it's got people questioning what it is and how long it's been there. Four large pyramids can be seen close to Antarctica, with many being confused saying that they look very similar to the large pyramids found in Egypt, further saying they could have been placed here by ancient civilizations. Pyramid-like structures are certainly nothing new, with some of the oldest pyramids on our planet being found in Egypt, and being dated to over 4,000 years old. However, this date has been disputed by many, saying that advanced civilizations may have built these giant structures, and that it was the Egyptians who found them. One such place that backs up this theory is that of Teotihuacan, with historians saying that Teotihuacan is older than the Aztec people, and that it's not known which culture or civilization created Teotihuacan. The same theory is being applied to these mysterious structures, with people saying they don't look like mountains or anything natural, saying that you can see they look like they've been placed in a straight line. When the images were shared to groups online who study ancient structures and artifacts, even they were confused about what had been discovered, with various members saying that these are some of the best images of underwater pyramids that they've seen. One person said the following, some of the underwater pyramids that have been presented in the past don't look anything like pyramids, and just look like natural underwater features that are in the shape of a pyramid. The fact that this image looks similar to the pyramids in Egypt when viewed from above is certainly interesting. This doesn't mean that something otherworldly created them, but it could certainly mean that there's a lost civilization close by, and that in itself is incredibly interesting. End quote. Taking measurements will show you that these four structures measure 7,108 meters, or 23,320 feet. Scientists and historians have said that Antarctica does not, and has never had any civilizations inhabit there. Yet when these types of discoveries are made, it causes people to question this idea. Another person said the following, We should be following the facts and not just statements. The fact is that there are four large structures that look like pyramids just outside of Antarctica. So what we should be doing is sending a team there to go and investigate if it's anything of interest. Even if it turns out to be nothing, at least we'll have an answer. These days people will say things like they're not pyramids, because scientists say that no one has ever lived there before. But that statement only works all the time that no discoveries are being made. Every year we are finding out more and more things about Antarctica, and we shouldn't be afraid of going against the grain when interesting discoveries are being made. End quote. This is a fair statement as in the past many scientists have been proven wrong. One of these examples is that of the coelacanth. This creature was swimming around in our oceans hundreds of millions of years ago, and scientists said they became extinct around 80 million years ago. But in 1938, a living coelacanth was discovered in the Indian Ocean, near the southern coast of Africa. Incredibly, these creatures have been living since the time of the dinosaurs. With this much evidence gathered by the scientific community, it's no surprise then that it appears there are large tales involving the existence of real-life encounters with ancient creatures, and these have continued into the modern day. It's creatures like the coelacanth that prove that scientists can be wrong, and the same applies with these kinds of structures. Unless we've gone there and investigated it, we can't say for sure that these aren't pyramids. This isn't the only pyramid-like structure that's been found underwater. Pauline Zalitsky, a marine engineer and her husband own a company based in Canada, called Advanced Digital Communications. They were working on a survey mission in conjunction with the Cuban government off the coast of Cuba. Advanced Digital Communications were one of the four firms working in venture with Fidel Castro's government, and this was to explore Cuban waters. Their primary interest was finding treasure shipwrecks from the Spanish colonial era. The team was using heavily advanced equipment to scan the area, when they noticed these bizarre structures. 
Some of these structures were found with smooth blocks in geometric shapes. Other blocks appear to be built into pyramid shapes. Others were completely circular. Months later, they returned to the site with another geologist. Knowing what they would find in the area, they returned with the appropriate technology to examine and record the structures. The large blocks seemed to resemble granite. The main piece of this is so confusing that it would have taken around 50,000 years for such structures to have sunk into their depths. The catch is that 50,000 years ago, there was not the architectural capacity in any of the cultures we are aware of of that time, and that they wouldn't have been able to build such complex things. Despite such a media flurry, this story was soon buried and the sites left unresearched. The quick dismissal of the story has led some to question on whether or not there has been suppression of information regarding the finding. Whether the leads went cold, or that this is something that we were not meant to find, we might never know. It's discoveries like these that of course some to say this is a perfect example of scientists ignoring their facts and going with the narrative rather than doing genuine investigations. As of 2018, the Ocean Service has said that over 80% of our oceans are unexplored. Although many have said that space is one of the last unexplored frontiers, the argument could also be made that our oceans make that list. After all, we've done a great job at mapping hard-to-reach regions on our planet, but haven't yet managed to research certain regions of our oceans. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Do you think they are pyramids that have been lost to the ocean, or are these natural underwater features? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.